Hey guys, today I want to um, start by introducing the idea of assembling parts in SOLIDWORKS assemblies. And so I'm starting off with a, this coffee maker demo. I'm going, to add a, I'm going to add a lid and a phone to that and also add a decal to the phone. All right, so first of all, um, let me go back to I get my um, lid here, which is a phone, and add a decal of a FaceTime video here. So what I've done is um, I've turned on rendering tools, and if you go to me, um, go to SolidWorks add-ins. Um, if you click on SolidWorks add-ins here and choose PhotoView 360, that brings up another toolbar called Render Tools. So click on Render Tools now and go to Add a Decal. I'm going to bring in a decal to put on this surface. First of all, this surface um, I've created specifically for the decal, and so it's a little offset. So I, so I want to just be able to click that surface by itself and choose it um, when I'm working on it. And so I'm going to browse for a decal I saved, an image offline, um, which is here. And just this um, dog on FaceTime, this is it right here. So I'll open this up. And there's my dog on FaceTime. And so I'm going to click on the surface here to place it there. And I can rotate this around to um, about 270 for this. Um, I can grab the edge and bring it out to enlarge it. And then move it in position like this. And so slowly kind of bring it up to where I want it to be and large enough to fit, okay? So kind of like there, and maybe a little smaller. Mm, all right, so I'm trying to make it kind of fit the way I want it to be. All right, so that's good enough for now. Um, I'll check mark that. So my dog in FaceTime um, is looking at me on the phone and ready to go, so I'm gonna save that. And I'm gonna go back to um, my, I'm gonna go to file and open my recent, um, demo, which is a coffee maker here, and then make an assembly from this. All right. So first of all, in a, in a um, file, I'm going to make an assembly from part. So from, so from this part, the coffee maker, I'm going to create a new assembly. Click OK. This opens up assemblies in SOLIDWORKS, and it gives you some options. I already see some things from my documents here. It already sees those. So once I have it highlighted, I'm just going to click over here and place the, uh, the main part here. And notice the F right there, that means fixed. That means this part is fixed in space. I can look at it from different angles, but it's really fixed. It's not really moving. I'm going to go to assembly, insert components, and bring in, first of all, the lid, and place that here. And the next thing is to insert uh, the phone, all right, with the dog on it. There it is right there. Last thing I want to bring in is, um, of course, a cup of coffee. So let me browse here for um, my coffee cup which is this one, cup with latte art, there it is. Open that, and click on that here, and there's my coffee cup right there, okay? All right, so to put this together, I need to, um, what's called mate the, um, the different edges or surfaces of the parts together. And so first of all, I want this cup to be sitting on this surface right here. Um, so I'm going to click on the bottom surface of the cup and click on the bottom surface here. What happens is that, um, these are a coincidence. That means the faces are sliding on each other, okay? So when I check mark this, I can drag the cup over and place it on here because those surfaces are sliding in each other. It stays in that plane where I want to go. I can just move it in position, and I'm ready with that one. Next thing is this lid here. And I want the lid to be coincident with this hinge right here. So if I click on this hinge pin on the surface, it sees that um, face, it's called. And I'll zoom in here and click on the inside of this right there. And what happens is it, it, um, it goes over right now is in line with that pin. It's the right in line. There it is right there. All right. Next thing I can do is say I want this surface here to be coincident. Sorry, let me um, check mark that first. Next thing is this face here. I want this to be coincident with this face over here. And watch what happens now. It slides right in position. And so because when you have um, faces that are coincident, they do slide. So now this lid is movable, okay? It's kind of on that little hinge right there. Last thing is on um, the edge, I want this edge right there to be coincident with this edge right here, all right? So it locks it in with the dog, my dog, my little phone here. So this slides in there, looks a little crazy there. I'm gonna uh, temporarily go like this and just fix this and bring this up like this now. And then I'm going to go back to mate and click on this surface. And on this surface right here. And now this is locked in. 
and there we have it. I'm going to go back and um, I can click on the lid now and float this lid so it's movable again. And these two things are movable. All right. So there it is. Um, all right. And I'm going to con go Control 7 to get isometric, and I'm ready to start thinking about the rest of my design and how it's going to look. All right. So there you go. Hopefully that helps, and have a good day. Bye.